What's up, peeps? Woo! Yeah! Hello, everybody. We are on Clock Talk 33, finally, wow. after two weeks of nothing. Well, I guess last week was a week of us having to have a bunch of stuff around here. But we cleared it out for this one, so that's nice. Yeah, that was a shame. Yeah, it was a lot of work. <clears throat> Even though, I guess, last week I might have just done it alone. So I guess it was kind of a good thing in a way. Uh, so, but anyway, hi! We have new things in the nook. You can look. You can ooh and ah. Do we? We do. We got, like, this stuff. And that stuff. And I think that's it. We add to it every week. Yeah, we pretty do. Much. It's going to be, like, so legit eventually. Well, one day it'll be too full and we'll have to, like, switch out props each each set. Yeah. It'll be nice. Um, yeah, and we're also using a flashlight on a phone to get some cool shadow thing up there. Tell us what you think about that. I don't know how I feel about it, but, uh, yeah. Because that's, like, a blue light with a yellow light. Yeah, and it's don't know. pretty random. Eh, you know. Oh, clock's going off. It is two o'clock, apparently. Clock ding twice. All right, hit me up with that question. First question of number 33. You find yourself in a dark dungeon. What's the first thing you feel? Oh, God. Um, I don't know how to answer. What kind of... Oh, God. Mm. What do you... Like, the first thing I feel is in, like, touching me I, or that I feel for... Uh, Whatever you, okay, um, well, the first thing yeah. I feel, I'm going to go with probably dripping water, um, or some scales. That's, that would be creepy. You're in a dungeon, it's already creepy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, yeah, so I'm going with dripping water or scales, because there's either a dragon in there, somebody's torturing me, so there's just, like, water dribbling down my spine, which is really, really weird. Or it's some sort of BDSM stuff. Don't know for sure. I hope it's the first or the second, and that was a text message. Billy. I, th I would either touch... <laughs> I would touch the wall, because when I'm trying to see things, like I'm walking through somewhere dark, I'm always touching the walls okay. wherever I'm walking. Bad. So, whatever's on the walls, I would touch. That makes a little more sense, yeah, yeah. I guess. Because, like, if, you, if you're if if you you're just going to walk in and be, like, dirt, and then just hit something random, then... I don't know. Like I said, I, whenever I thought I was stuck in this dungeon... I thought I was going to be stuck in there. I was going to be tied up or something like that. Oh. It's getting really weird, I know. But, like, I thought that if I'm ending up in a dungeon, I'm not just going to pass out and wake up there, uh, right? It's not like yeah. a Skyrim mission where I drink some booze and then it's like, oh, you got married or something. I don't actually remember that quest, but I never completed that one. Or a lot of them, actually. I'm a terrible Skyrim player. I know, actually, same. Actually, no, no, I'm not. Yeah, I think everybody never does the main mission. I am... It's always side quests. I was just talk I just did a throwback Thursday on Skyrim and like I was talking about like I'm so bad at Skyrim because like I'm like I'm level I'm playing it but it's so hard to level up for me or it's so hard for me to play. Yeah. But I think it's such a fun game. But it is a fun game. I can't really get into Leveling it. Leveling up in Skyrim's hard for you? It's just slow. It's slow okay. Well I don't know, have you ever played Oblivion? No. Okay, well that's slow is it <laughs> yes even though there's ways to cheat it like you can go in the corner of like a like swimming area and get like your athleticism up i mean that's yeah. one thing but like leveling up in that game was impossible because <laughs> you got to like make like i know it's super easy to do in skyrim because you can pretty much go out and kill anything yeah. plus there's always a dragon to kill because they always screw with you whenever you don't want them to yeah you just walk around in the forest and out of nowhere an elder dragon comes down and eats your face yeah anyway yeah but oblivion so much harder Oh, sorry, I won't, I won't Skyrim rant. Should have been in my Thursday Thursday with that rant. I know, right? Why do people spend so much money on fancy china and then not use it? Wow. That's interesting. Well, what you, I mean... I, this is always... I, I wrote all of these questions, so clearly it confuses me. Uh, I think that people spend all this money on china to make themselves feel good and fancy. But then they don't use it. I don't know why. They're plates. Why did yeah, you use exa it? Exactly. Like, uh, it's, it's just it's like just, this. Good. Like, it's like the same thing as like anything else. Like it's a design thing to make everything look cool. Well, okay. In those aspects, I can get it because like these things are the point of these. But except to look cool. But like. But, like yeah, I don't know. I guess that at least contracts my point. Maybe not your point because my point was gonna be. There's just, like, those fancy plates that people have, like, Disney designs or whatever yeah, on them. Yeah. And it's like, why do you collect plates? Yeah. It makes no sense. Yeah. But at the same time, I guess those don't make any sense. 
And, I, and again, the, the Chinese link. Just use it. It looks pretty. You look better using, using it, it yeah. than just having it in a closet. Because actually, if you do that too, you need to buy a China cabinet. Yeah. And that's that, even that's more like, money. That's probably like bank. Yeah. Like, it's see, like all glass and it's like huge and. Yeah. So you might as well just get your China, put it in your regular cupboards, and use it. Yeah. I, I guess hand. Maybe that's why too. Maybe because then you have to hand wash it. You can't put it in the dishwasher. I don't know. Um, if you got anything on China, tell us. Uh, I don't. I think maybe that might be it. Because oh, I mean, laziness is a factor. I mean, I'll admit it. I don't want to hand wash things. Yeah. I did that for six months of my life. Never again. I just think that everything else looks better than China. Really? Yeah. Like, so, seen... like if you like even these. Like if you collect these and like they look cooler than just plates. Like that's, I think that's stupid. Like. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. But I mean, like, we're, what, we're talking. We're talking plates here, man. Don't compare Pops to China. I, I'm just clearly Pops are cooler. I'm comparing the design factor to it. Okay, all right, all right, okay. But if you had to choose a type of plate, would you use a regular plate or yeah, a China just, plate because it looks cooler? Which one? I wouldn't use a regular plate because China's more expensive. All right, well, fair enough. All right. <laughs> if you if the price was not a factor, what would you use? Um. I wouldn't buy China because I would have to hand wash it like you said. Okay, fine. Like, alright. Right. You, can't, I, I, you I, can't pass it. You I, can't I, I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't use China either because I have like plates upstairs and they're just like swirly and they're orange or green and those are super cool. Like Fiesta wear. Those things. Those are yeah. cool. Yeah, I, I'd rather get Fiesta wear than that because it's just colorful and I'd rather have a lot of color than like gold trim. That's me. Yeah. Alright, alright. That's a China rant. Uh, so, thank you everybody for watching. It's my Clock Talk 33. I hope to God it actually is, because if not, there might be 34. Um, nice job. Yeah, you know, we're professionals. Another phone buzz. It's been five minutes. That's, that's what that means. So, uh, yeah. Toodaloo. I love you. Thanks for watching that video. And if you like it, uh, comment, subscribe, and like below. See you again soon.